Creating a SOAP note in TDO is extremely simple and this is the perfect way to copy and put into your Axiom software. Before you can go to the letters module and open the SOAP note, you need to enter all of the treatment information into TDO. This includes your multi-tooth info testing page, your diagnosis page, pain, medical history, treatment, and final report because all of this information is summarized into that letter template. I'm going to go to my letters module and I'm going to pick my SOAP note template. You can see it going through filling out information from the patient's chart. If there's more than one multi-tooth testing entry for this patient, this window will come up asking me to pick which one I want included. Now looking at our note, it put our patient's name, tooth number, chief complaint, the medical history, the pain history, clinical and radiographic findings, testing results, diagnosis, your treatment summary, your anesthesia, the date of completion, prognosis, recommended restoration, and when the recall is due. Wonderful note. Now, to import this into your Axiom software, the easiest way will probably be to print it to a PDF writer, save it to your My Documents or your desktop, and then you can import it into anywhere else. Now, your SOAP note will automatically be a permanent part of your patient's record. If you wish to make changes to this template, for example, you don't want to have certain categories or you need to change the heading on the top, add a logo, any of that information, you can do that easily by going to the template tab in your patient's letters module. Select your SOAP note template and you will see all of the fields on the letter shown with the brackets around it. If you see these two little carrots on each side, that means that it's a field pulling information from the patient's chart. So you can see it's pulling my medical history summary, my diagnosis page summary. So let's say you decide on your soap note you do not want the endodontic prognosis. You could highlight it, delete it, and then make sure you save your template when you're done. You can also add any other fields or text as you see fit.